Hey everyone, Sandy here, and today I am going to be scrapbooking this 8 by 10 photograph of our family. Um, this is somebody who is not in there, but this is me, uh, my daughter, my other daughter, my husband, and my son. We call this our um, CD cover photograph. <laughs> and I'm going to be using this happy day, this large happy. I pulled out some Disney stuff so I could make that happen. So let's see what I can do. Well, here we go. It took me a minute to figure out which paper I wanted to use. Now this layout is from our 2015 Disney trip and that trip is the Disney trip I kind of forgot to scrapbook all the PhotoPass pictures and apparently this 8x10. So what I'm doing is just matting this on the white and yellow diagonal striped paper. And the longest part of this layout, the thing I futz around with the most, and somebody emailed me thinking I was saying a naughty word when I say futz, but it's futz, F-U-T-Z, like mess around, kind of, fart around, you know, all that kind of stuff. Not not the naughty word, I promise, promise I'm not saying naughty words. Um, <laughs> At least not on YouTube. <laughs> I might, I, a naughty word might pop out every once in a while. Okay, so anyway, I'm still messing around with this and I'm going to mess around with it for a little bit. I'm just trying to figure out the best position for it. I'm looking around and thinking, you know, I, I just gotta make this happen. So finally I decide to put some adhesive on the back of my layout and Come on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> like, stick it down, Sandy. Just stick it down. Okay, so here is where I'm just getting it again. I thought I had it properly spaced and everything was perfect. And of course it was not. And now I'm still playing around with this. Oh my word, is this as frustrating for you as it is for me? I just want me to put down the letters. Like how many minutes of me just messing around with these letters can you handle? How many of you are not watching anymore because you're like, she's taking too long and you just turned off the video? <sighs> not that you would even hear me ask that question now, would you? Oh, finally, finally I'm committing, yay. <laughs> commitment. That is what I'm talking about. Now I do have to say that these gold puffy stickers feel real nice. They feel real real nice. I enjoy them a whole lot. And of course this American Crafts chipboard thicker sticker that says happy. It's not going anywhere. We know I could move it all the way around that photo and not have one lick of it sticking. We know that I'm gonna to have to add some adhesive, so I added some ATG for it. Speaking of ATG, I just dropped an order for 24 rolls of ATG tape today. Uh, it was getting scary low. My uh, stash of tape was getting scary low, and usually scary low for a stash of ATG tape is about five rolls and one roll still in both of my guns. Yeah, guys, my... One of the guns has no tape. One of the guns is about halfway gone, and then I have one roll left, just one. And I was like, "Oh, this is this is scary low. Like it's it's kind of making me uncomfortable, kind of low." So I decided that there we go. Happy happy day is on there, and to me, it just it just looks like an album cover. I mean, it really just does. I almost. I almost left it just like this and only putting happy, happy day on it and letting it go, but I thought I needed just a little bit more umph to the page. And I'm gonna be like quite honest with you guys, there there is not a whole lot of umph on this page. It is a very mildly, mildly embellished scrapbook page. And I'm okay with that because some of my Disney pages get a little bit ridiculous and then some of them are just like, here's the memory, here's the moment, and it's done. So, 
it's going to be a good mix in my album. I kept trying to put these little clouds up here, and had I not already stuck down the letters and had done the clouds first, I probably would have had some up there, but honestly I just didn't want to deal with it. Now I have this little Mickey head and he fits right there perfectly onto that overhang, and we are actually in line at the Haunted Mansion, I believe. I believe that's where we are. So we're just dropping down our, sorry, I just had a moment. My husband was wearing this Marvel shirt the other day and there was a big debate on whether or not he had worn that to Disney yet and we did not think he did and he swore he did and we were all wrong and he was all right. <laughs> so I'm not gonna say a word to him. <laughs> I'm just gonna see if he watches this video because as you guys know, sometimes he watches videos because sometimes I get scrappy goodness just out of the blue. Or he'll say something that I know I haven't told him, but I've said on YouTube, so whatever. Hi babe, how are you? <laughs> just in case he's just in case he's watching. So I wanted to use this little scrap of gold dot paper, and that's because I have gold up here in the upper right corner figured it would be perfect to have just a little teeny bit of gold down here in the lower left. And it's just going to give me a little bit of a shelf to build up a little bit of embellishment here. So I have best place in the whole world and then this little circle that says fun. And I decide my whole thing was making like this one tight little cluster down at the bottom and I was going to layer fun over the globe and maybe do some enamel dots or something, just a little bit of something. And then there's that little magic arrow thing back again. And everything I'm trying, I'm like, no. But I pulled out this little Mickey balloon, and I love how the balloon string just kind of curves around the globe. So I decided to put that down there and then have the fun curve around the other part of the balloon. And I'm like, yeah, this is kind of cute. But it needs, it needs a little bit of something else to ground it because it still felt very floaty. And especially since I put a balloon there and what do balloons do? They float, people. That's what they do. That was a rhetorical question, but I gave you the answer. <laughs> I'm, fe I'm feeling kind of spicy today. I'm feeling kind of spicy. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut a little fishtail banner here and slap that bad boy down. And then that's going to give me a little bit of more of a shelf than it kind of just like floating out there in the world and I definitely feel that there is more floaty out there because of the background paper the dots just kind of go off like they just go whoop right on off just whoop right on off and there there it's it just feels that way to me I almost, I thought about trimming it down and putting a solid color cardstock behind it, but I did not. I decided not to go with that and just leave it the way it is. This is, this is where I'm looking at it, trying to decide if I want to cut it down and place it on a sheet of cardstock, but I don't. Oh, I do, oh, I forgot. I did add some enamel dots and these are some yellow enamel dots and I'm just kind of spreading them around a bit, just putting three, I believe, on the upper cluster and the lower cluster. And then off camera, I do actually take some Spectrum Noir glimmer pens and I uh, add some sparkle to the Mickey head and not the globe, but the globe holder part. I don't believe, you might be able to see that in the photo at the end, but Besides from that, I'm looking at this thinking, I think this is okay. This is me <laughs> trying to decide one more time if I want something on the background. And I decide, nope, I'm good. So that's going to be it, guys. Really simple, really quick and easy page to do an 8x10 Disney layout. And I will catch you guys in the next video.